Hello and welcome to my Tuesday. I've just been working at my desk all day as usual. Now, I have plans to have a hot date with my boyfriend this afternoon. Well, probably will be quite hot actually because the sun's shining. We're going back to the Merthyr area. He's got a particular walk in mind that he'd like to do in the valley somewhere. He knows what he's got in mind. I don't know, I'm just gonna go along with it. But our plans to meet up changed and then changed and then changed and then changed because it's the usual situation with his work. I've been on the phone to Busy's College this morning just trying to double check about that EMA form, the Education Maintenance Allowance form, and yes, the students are supposed to fill it in themselves, but apparently we can do it together and I can oversee it as long as Isabel does actually do it. I have an hour and a half before he's due to come, so what I'm gonna do is I need to have had lunch. Now, I went shopping yesterday evening. <laughs> Um, I bought myself some reduced to clear fish, so I'm going to cook some of those up for my lunch in a bit, but not just yet. Because buoyed by the success of having transcribed the Munsters theme tune yesterday, today, in the next half an hour, I'm going to attempt to transcribe the Adams family, complete with melody and chords. So that's how I'm going to spend the next half an hour, and then I'm going to cook myself some lunch and eat lunch, and then hopefully I will be aligned with my boyfriend and ready to depart on a walk and it's going to be a picnicky walk and although I'm going to have lunch before I go I think we should get sandwiches and take them with us because at some point I'm sure we'll get hungry. Mm, it has a lot of scope for extra entertaining silliness in it. I heard a duck call in there. Da -da -da -da. You know it does that bit but in the like the latter part of it, it goes like da -da -da -da. Whee! Da -da -da -da. boing <laughs> things like that loads of silly noises so Yes, I think we've got a little bit of room for creativity with that one. I have the basic tune and chords worked it out with the guitar again. Um, I'd love to play it too, but I'll get done for copyright, so I can't, unfortunately. I will come back and finish that off later, but right now I need to go cook lunch, eat lunch, and meet IB. Lunch is pretty simple today. Three of those sardines, that's half of the packet that I got for about £1.50 in Tesco's last night. My homegrown courgette, and two of these... Uh, 21 pence mushrooms as well. They're plenty fresh, really. I reckon they'll do me for another couple of days. Very pleased. If that doesn't fill me up, I'll probably have some crisps or something afterwards. Or maybe even a banana. While that's cooking, here's the puzzle update. Look, it's coming on. I was doing a bit more last night. This puzzle is the Paris Street Cafes by Corner Piece. It's a 500 piecer. <laughs> I'll link it in the description if you like. Wonder if this is dry. not far off being done. I think the courgettes are the last thing to cook. There's my lunch then. Oops, <laughs> I just stuck my finger in it. I've dumped the fried veg on top of salad that I bought yesterday in Tesco as well. I quite like it hot like that <laughs> when it warms up, you know, with the of the cooked stuff on top. I am a bit unusual. I accept this. We have come to Merthyr again and we've just pulled off the main road a little way after a different viaduct. Isn't it a different viaduct than the one we were on the other day? From yeah. the one we were on the other day. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to go down into a valley and explore it. Oh look, we've come to a signpost, so that way, ooh, where's my finger gone? That way we've got Hirwain, Castell Nerd and Neath, Path Trail, Pontstichich, Aber Rondai, is it? Brecon and Bryn Mawr. We've got the Taft Trail going the other way, Merthyr Tidville and Cardiff. And we're taking the middle route. And as if by magic, here we are, we're at the viaduct. There's another one, a different one from the other day. Uh, it's 1800s though, presumably. There's the road that we quite often drive over. Just going under the modern one as well. We've got a packed lunch packed, but we both ate lunch before we came out, so it's going to be like in a few hours when we've worked up an appetite. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Lovely steep grass bank going up. Oh, I thought I could smell a horse. Look at that. Oh, it looks amazing, doesn't it? So that would have been a railway up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's go and see horsey chops. Hello. There's some companions as well, look. Hello, my beauties. Underneath the new bridge. 
We've uh, found a little bit of a bend. We've gone over a bridge here. There's a really beautiful smell of wood smoke in the air. We're not quite where we thought we were, so we're going to go back to the car, get in it and drive to somewhere else. And there's a reservoir there, isn't there? Did you say something about a railway? Yeah, it's a mountain railway. Like a steam one? Yeah. Ooh. Will we, we, are, will we be able to see record, any of it? We are where we thought we are. Oh, are we? Oh, OK. there is no path. But there's no path. Well, we're kind of not where we thought we were because we thought we were going to be on a path. Well, I mean, this is, but it didn't, you know. <laughs> I'm exactly where I thought. Geographically, we did. OK. It's just, I thought there would be a path and there's not. <laughs> we're on the way again. Oh, I'd be in a really silly mood. Oh, dear. Um, we're just about to come past a quarry again. I didn't film it last time. We just don't even want to know why we just turned around and went back. Is it here? Yeah. It's very beautiful. Yes. Well, in a kind of industrial way. There's some rather alarming warning signs on the gate there. Look. Look at that. Oh, mind your head. Oh. oh, it says the road ahead is closed. There's a red sign in the distance there. That's why we're staying there. Yeah, well, not today we're not. Oh. That's right, it's an alternative route. <laughs> we're going round in circles, we are. Oh, we're in the car, but um, there's the viaduct we were on the other day. Look, um, there's actually an entrance to the path here. Okay. Can't stop the car here, though. Okay, we've relocated to the Brecon Mountain Railway, and we're not, like, coming here, but since we are here, we might as well have a quick peep and see what it's all about. Hey, look at that sign there. It says, please don't feed horses peelings. Can cause death. I didn't know that. That's a funny looking construction. I wonder what that is. Since we're here, we're going to pop in to the visitor centre. Oh, where's my mask? There it is. Exciting that way. Oh my gosh, look, look. I do thinks this might be a ginormous lathe. That must be a bit of train there, look, what do you reckon? Is that the fire bit there, that hole? Yeah. Cool. There's a big old gantry, well, quite a small gantry crane there. <laughs> Hello. Look at those boxes over there, I be. Lots of compartmentalism. Yeah. You like that, don't you? Platform, shall we have a look? <laughs> we found the model railway and IB found a button to press. Oh, here it comes, out of the tunnel. Oh, there you go, Colin Beggard like this. Hey! <laughs> little chapel there. A chapel out with a flashing light. Yeah, I don't know why it's got a flashing light. No, oh, I don't know either. Bit of a raised platform here so that'd be good for children to be able to look over the edge oh look at the little houses <laughs> there seems to be a load of pews here for some reason and of course there's a gift shop oh there's the platform look one little buffer that must be very narrow that's a narrow gauge isn't it yeah it's a titchy tiny one two feet ib reckons <laughs> there we are all the non-welsh speakers will probably find this station name amusing Pant station. Probably not so funny to the Americans as the British. Just standing at the entrance here, we see there's a heritage trail and it's got a two mile walk marked on it. So IB's just quickly made a mental note of it and we're gonna go and walk on it. I might just photograph it on my phone though to be on the safe side. We've crossed over the main road and come to my little low style that you can just step over. I've just realised we've been here before ages ago. I think Izzy might have been doing a dance exam or something like that and we were passing the time. I missed the train toot. There was a quick woo. <laughs> Check this terrain out then, look at that. Very otherworldly. Yeah, it used to be a quarry you see, so hence the steep sort of vertical sides to it. 
Oh, there's that train again. And speaking of trains, I've just noticed that underfoot there are the remains of sleepers, look, from a former train track. Oh, 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 I've just come rushing to get the steam train. Sorry. Is that, that a steam train? Oh, I don't know. Looks like a diesel engine to me, but then there's no diesel smoke. Oh, yeah, there's some smoke of some kind, isn't there? It looks a bit modern to me. What's it like zoomed? Well, you have to see it on the vlog, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> well, it's definitely got some kind of smoke coming out of it. Isn't yeah, it? no, it is. It's steaming, I think. Yeah, I can't see the point of having a railway without steam. It kind of produces the charm of it, doesn't it? Yeah. Funny looking steam engine though, I've never seen one like that before. No, he's like boxed in, but he's probably got a round cylinder inside a, uh, a box. Just peering around a hedge now. Just stopping to have a closer look at the rocks actually. IB was just saying he bets it was this, you know, stuff that made the viaducts. And I'm sure he's right. And I think I actually read that because quite often I do a little bit of background reading when I'm putting my vlogs up, especially if I've said stuff and I need to fact check myself. <laughs> Occasionally I remember stuff wrong and then I check it and then I'm like, better cut that bit out. <laughs> what an amazing landscape, isn't it? Really, I, I wonder what making these little tumps here. I'm wondering if there's a specific species of ant. Somebody might tell me in the comments, but there are a lot of them, you see. <laughs> IB thinks the trail we should be on is down there, but we're quite happy on like where we are, to be honest. It's a very interesting landscape. I'm just looking where the surface materials moved here. It looks ever so coal-like, doesn't it? It's kind of glistening in the sun. I'm wondering if somebody's just had a fire here and that's why it's gone black, or if it is actually, um, what's the word? Slag. It just looks very coal-like, yeah. It's coal, isn't it? There's a bit of an old ruin here. I wonder what that was. Just a little square, really. Ooh. I've reached the end of the trail. I'm just going to show you a surprisingly amazing view. Look at this then. A bit of a steep drop, so let's not get too close to the edge. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, don't look down. IB wonders if they kept the explosives in that bit there with the, the bricks, the little ruin. It was only a guess off the top of his head. Who knows? I'm assuming the railway must have come across this far because there are still these timbers going across every so often. There you can see that protruding out, look. Oh, and there. <laughs> this is a very flat bit we've just come to here. Lots of incredibly sharp stones underfoot. You wouldn't want to do this without any shoes on. come up to the end here so I can film without the sun glinting in the lens. <laughs> We've worked up a bit of a thirst. You couldn't put any tent bags in this if you were camping. Could you? What? In what? Oh, the ground. Well, this would be a lovely place to camp, but you couldn't put a bag in. <laughs> it's too rocky. We've uh, had a bit of a sit down and a rest. We haven't eaten yet. We're just walking back across this amazing quarry landscape and we're going to get down onto that lower trail. I've got a feeling I've filmed quite a lot, so probably won't film very much of that and I'll probably catch up with you when we have our picnic. Cammy's coming out again. Cuz look, oh, just missing it. But look, steam train with carriages going past in the distance. Cool. We've been trying to find our way to get onto this main trail, so I wasn't going to film, but this is kind of funny. This, we're going to have to do some climbing, but we found a really kind of shallow, kind of almost staircasey bit. So let's right. give it a go. <laughs> come back down this bit here. Can you go further on and then back? Yeah, kind of zigzaggy. <laughs> Oh, da -da, done it. Yay. I'm not doing a, a good job of not vlogging this route. It's just so flipping interesting. I suppose it kind of looks samey after a while, but look, 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 what is this? Is this a fossil? It's kind of a raised texture. It hasn't, I mean, it almost looks as if it's been splatted. I wondered if it was a withered 
one ammonite at one point, but I'm sure it isn't. There's another one over there. Hang on, I'll put the camera down lower. See, it's kind of raised bumps. Well, kind of, I don't know, lines? IB says they're all over. Do you know, I'm getting hungry and hungrier. I'm starting to really look forward to that sandwich. <laughs> yeah, there's another one there. I mean, it almost looks as if something's been dropped on it, you know, but I don't know. Weird. There's another one. We'll probably find out now. It's some kind of waste from the, what do we call it? The quarrying, you know. Um, I think that might be the trail that we're supposed to be on down there. It's a very pretty view though, isn't it? Um, <laughs> we're still uh, finding evidence of these, look, these wooden sleepers, you know, it's been all the way up. Um, yeah, I don't think we can go any further this way. Oh, I mean, we might be able to scramble up there, but I mean, it's obviously not an official trail. We've stopped for a picnic at last, but we're nearly back at the car actually, but Isabel rang, so uh, we just walked and talked and uh, now we're having a picnic. It actually just looks like a bread roll, but it is a stuffed baguette, honestly. It's got cheese salad in it and um, that's my milk bottle there. Made I be a cup of tea and I'm about to make myself one out of the flask. All very civilised. We're on our way back, home time. Hello, it's actually the next day now. I'll leave links to the places visited in the description so you can check them out, Google more, you know, find out more stuff if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching this video though. If you liked the video, could you please give it a like because it really does help the channel to grow. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story here in South Wales, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.